All right, so today we are doing something a little different. Uh, if you have been following what I do for a little bit, um, you might notice I fish with some pretty cheap tackle. But over the last year and change, we've kind of blown up a couple of Tsunami Shields and a couple of Daiwa Fuego LTs. And sure, we can get into the timeline and chronological order of when they blew up and when I stopped using them. I mean, the last Daiwa Fuego, we had it in rotation from June through most of October. You know, the reason I choose inexpensive tackle, I'm a kayak fisherman, stuff gets knocked overboard, you know, maybe once a season or once every two years. Um, a couple weeks ago, I knocked over a Daiwa Acceler. Eh, no big deal as opposed to fishing with 200 to $300 stuff that, you know, that'll break the bank a little more. I cannot stand rod leashes. So, I have taken it upon myself. Uh, I listened to my buddy Nick, Tackle Advisor's Advice. And the next reel in this lineup that we're gonna destroy, or rather go through, um, it's the Akuma Pixar, which he spoke very highly about. However, this is a $45 reel. I wanna fish the Pixar. I want to see how long we run through it for. Will it last six months? Will it last a week? Will it last a year? And that's what we're going to find out. You know, I'm going to field test it. Let's see what happens. Let's see how long it lasts before, you know, some major malfunction, line roller bearings, clutches, anti-reverse, you name it. Um, so redfish. Redfish is the target today. My, my favorite. All right, so right here is the Akuma picture. This is what we're testing. I put 15-pound braid on here. I mean, it doesn't feel like a $45 reel. It's a little heavier than I'm used to, but that doesn't mean anything wrong. But uh, we'll give this a try. Um, ocean, ocean's pretty calm. One plays out, it's not too nice out, but I'm hoping that might get the drum kind of hungry. All right, so that's what we're gonna fish on. It's an assortment of rocks. I guess I'm gonna be drifting wind. I'm gonna have a straight wind drift is my guess. But we're gonna find out. Come up. <laughs> Damn. I don't know. That's a big red. Black drum, it's big man, this is a big fish. A lot bigger than a lot bigger than I have been catching. 
Nice red, man. That's a nicer one. That's definitely a nice one. Yeah, he's better. Nice one. That's the first fish we caught on this reel. I'll tell you what, it didn't feel like a piece of crap. So we'll catch a couple more on crabs, right? And then from there, we'll see if we can catch some on jigs. Mix it up a little bit. See how long the weather holds up. It was a very light take on that crab too, man. He bumped it a couple times and then went for it finally. But let's see, maybe they're waking up now. That should be a black drum here, yeah, I think. Maybe another red, I don't know. I'm going black drum on that one. Hey, he ain't bad. Guys remind me of Tog. They fight similar to Toe Tog or Blackfish, a lot of Bulldog, and they don't run into the structure too much though. But uh, it's not a bad one. These are good fish to eat too, man. But... He ain't bad though. Send him out. Black Drum got like this slime, particular slime. It's kind of funny. Those are some big fish under me now. See that? Could be drum, could be black drum or red drum. I can't tell, you know, when it's black drum or red drum, but those are big fish. Many ugly, little ugly. I got real shitty pretty quick, man. Ray, a little bit close to the beach, I laid down a little bit here. It's slightly on shore, but I got like a turn on the, the, wind, the wind's coming, not exactly on shore. It's more coming down the beach, coming down the beach now, and it's going. Yeah, I got going quick, man. Well, the reel performed, man. We got a nice red. Black drum, mostly small ones. Wish I had more of the morning to, you know, this time of year, late fall, early wind, you know, late fall forecasts get a little dodgy. And this was not forecasted at all, but I don't know, as soon as I saw that white, it started getting a little more foamy out there. Uh, glad I made this call already. Okay, I don't even, it's not even that I really overstayed my welcome too much. Like, came on quick, man, as opposed to laying down like it was forecasted to lay down for the day. I'm going to create my own, my own fishing weather app. I'll call it shit weather because the weather, <laughs> the weather always turns to shit. Uh, anyway, let me get back in. My first impressions are actually pretty good. I mean, it feels a little chinese -ium, like it's made of a Chinese, low-quality Chinese, you know, frame, but it held up. This drag worked, you know, dragged work properly. 
fine roller bearing work properly, very smooth. Um, definitely didn't feel like a $40 reel that I've used. So um, overall, that wasn't bad. So we will continue to monitor it. We got a little salt spray on it, but we survived the surf, no issues. Um, this is what I paired it up with today. This is the medium heavy one to four ounce rated dark matter rod. And that's a one ounce bottom sweeper. We use quarter blue crab. That could have been a real good day, but uh, you know, I think the weather just didn't hold up for me. I like the handle on this too. It's not bad. All right, so we're, we just got home. Um, you know, so far the first test, the first day, that's what you want to see. It performed. Now, now the next part is how is it going to hold up to several days of salt water use, etc., etc. Um, but so far, man, that was an impressive little, impressive run. So all we're going to do to this guy is just give it a rinse after our trips. We're not opening it. We're not doing anything, and we'll see how what time does to it. Um, good start with it though.